welcome back to the channel. I'm, I've been away doing some family things and now I'm going to do a build video for this plane. The 3D profile little devil, as I call it. These are the parts I need for that and see how it goes. So here the patterns have been traced onto the foam board. I'll go a little closer here so you can kind of see rather nose doubler, the main wing and body. And then here's the for the KF wing section. There's that doubler there. And then here we are with the main body and motor mount. I'll glue those two pieces of wood together. Here are the pieces roughly cut out and it is time to cover them. Bottom will be covered in white tape and the top will be covered with either vinyl, colored vinyl or colored tape. I haven't figured out the scheme exactly just yet. So here are all the parts. They've been covered with packaging tape cut out, uh, but no glue has been applied to the model yet. So this part here is going to be the front of the wing. Still need to put this the A fold here and, and here to create that KF wing section. Then I'll peel this paper on both sides and shape it and I'll go ahead and uh, show that in the video. As you can see, there's not really that many parts. Do the A fold here. So it's got some shape to it. That's probably enough. We'll see. Next step is to glue it to the main body.
Here it is with the top of the fuselage glued on to the bottom next. So now we have the doublers installed, the bottom installed. Now time to install these side cheeks. You want to, as in, you want to line everything up this square opening. And as you can see, it's a little bit short of that. So I'm going to have to uh, trim this back edge to get it to fit just right. It's supposed to be that way. There are the trimmed bits and here are these side cheeks are installed uh, temporarily and now I'm going to glue them. When installing the tape on to tape the rudder on, I do the flat side surf first and then I take a barbecue skewer here and stick it in there, get it into the groove and then fold it over. I do that up here and I do it down at the bottom. For the firewall, I use a spike here to make holes. It's eighth inch, holes are eighth inch. Then I install the firewall. that the firewall is flush, squared up, and that the holes line up with the foam, which they do. So I made some little pegs here, sharpen the tip uh, to make it slide in a little easier. Now I'm going to put a lot of glue in on here for the motor mount. Come back and put some glue on the back here. And I will come back with some CA glue to tie these pegs in with this wooden firewall. I decided to add some wing tips, really more for aesthetics purposes. Uh, they're not in the plan. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like on the plane. And I thought it gave a more finished look to the overall plane. Okay, for this model, I'm just gonna use my inexpensive FlySky radio. Trinity receiver, uh, Clint out um, 30 amp, although I've 
That's way overkill. I've got the servos installed. These are the cheap, you know, whatever, $2 servos. There's obviously that. It's important to put a bend in these rods to make sure that they don't buckle when you push on them. Got the elevator and the rudder. Using flight test control horns here and here and using these uh, plastic control horns to make sure I get the, uh, the ailerons equal, equalized. And, but they're pretty short in this direction compared to the, the Farhurch um, ailerons. So I'm not sure if that, how well that's gonna work. They move pretty easily, but we'll see. The idea here is to use the cheapest setup possible. So these are the uh, reinforcements for the landing gear. I'll put them up on the nose. So here's the landing gear support installed. These popsicle sticks, or it's half a popsicle stick on each side. It's uh, hot glued on. So far I haven't hot glued in the 1 8 inch diameter uh, barbecue skewers. Here's the landing gear that's gonna go on there. Got, that goes up 10 millimeters. These are kind of the dimensions. 10 millimeters, 20 width, it's 50 long. The legs are 65 and the little end there is about 20. So here it is with the landing gear installed. So you just use a rubber band to hold it on. Right now I haven't done anything except Velcro to hold the battery in because it's snugged up in there. Maybe a violent maneuver might knock it loose. We'll find out. But it's ready to go. This is the plane I'm replacing. I'm going to fly them together. This one has a little more expensive equipment in it. This one is bare bones, inexpensive stuff. We'll see how she flies. So here we are with the Maiden. It's a little windier than uh, I really want. Try and I've got a helmet cam, so the video may not be as good as it is with my friends taking video. Here we are with the helmet cam. I think we're good.